Hi, we're Jerry and Diana, and we are on a 13-day adventure to see seven campsites. We left our home in the Puget Sound to come to Eastern Washington. Our first stop was Entiat City Park Campground, and we had a great time there. Check out that video of uh, Penine Sky, wherever that goes. But now we are at Spring Canyon Campground on Lake Roosevelt near the Grand Coulee Dam. As my mom says, traveling is just a series of obstacles to overcome, and so far, every time we move the car, there's been some obstacles to overcome. This time, it started making a weird noise. We had to stop at Walmart in Chelan while Jerry tried to figure it out. We didn't get very far, we're to Walmart, and we got a noise. Is it the broken vent for the AC? I don't know. There it is. It definitely makes it worse. Oh, plug. No, I mean obviously it's something up here on this. Yeah. No. Just the, the idler. Power steering? Steering pump? Maybe. It's at least moving whatever it is. Yeah. What are you thinking? What do I care? What is it? I think it's the power steering pump. Okay. That's what That I was think. my guess, but yeah. because of the way it reacted. Are you sure you don't want me to go in there, turn it on, and oh, wiggle oh. it around? Uh oh, what? Oh, oh. Uh oh. Maybe not. What is it? Could be a water pump. Oh no, that's no good. Were we getting hot? No, water pump's pumping water. No, we're not losing water. Oh, is it the clutch? The clutch? I think it's the clutch on the... On the what? So, I don't know if you'll be able to get in here. So, the fan is a clutch fan, right? Okay. And look at it. It's, I mean, it's plastic. It'll move a little bit. Yeah. But I'm seeing it move on the shaft. I wonder if that's what's causing the bracket. Yeah, the cooling fan. Okay. For, it's attached to the snout of the, of the water pump. Yeah. It's not direct drive. Okay. It has a little clutch mechanism in it. Oh, okay. Um, it's really loose, like like it's worn. Oh no. And so I'm wondering if that's not causing all the drama. What would it be without this? It's part of the adventure. Oh, yeah. I mean, it's not really YouTube unless you have something to overcome. He was like uh, driving and saying like, do you hear that grinding noise? And I'm like, I hear a high pitch, which is so funny that we describe the same thing completely differently. He hears the part that's like, Err, and I hear the part that's like, Err. it's a chord almost. Um, okay, it's really hot. Okay, so do you need a chair? Can I just go in Walmart? Uh, well, you hear anything? no, no crunchiness. Got a belt out. I don't know, <laughs> neither one of these components is in very good shape. What's that? Is it all in bad shape? 
Now certainly this bearing is not awesome. I don't think it matters because we're not getting AC. No. So I'm not going to even deal with it right now. I'm just going to put this back together. <laughs> made it to Spring Canyon just fine. We even got here on time. It's uh, one o'clock check-in time here. So. Spring Canyon is a national recreation area, which meant that we bought it pretty cheap. I would uh, give it the $1 sign. So I think our site was just over 10 bucks in 2023. So it is by reservation only, and you have to register at the website. You cannot get a first come first site here even if there's cancellation so do make sure you go to the website the same thing goes for the dock for your boat you have to reserve your stuff pay ahead there are two loops an RV loop and then a tent only loop but it looked like it was mixed tents and RVs in both loops we were on the RV loop which has no hookups but we have this it's um, uh, it's it's a carport. We're staying under a carport. We're all in very close tight together. You get to really see and know your neighbors. There's no privacy at at all. This wouldn't be my first setup that I would pick, but we're gonna be just fine. There are really nice clean bathrooms here. Rooms, no showers, but there is a dump station, so you can dump on your way out. Jerry had time, a hard time finding the water spigot up here. It seems to be in the washroom of the bathroom building. Oh, and each site has a picnic table, but there are no fire pits. The little bouncy. just outside of Grand Coulee, which has all the amenities of a small town, so you can get to restaurants and laundromats and all the things you might need. I think there's a Walmart. It's also really close to the Coulee Dam, and so if you wanted to see the Grand Coulee Dam, this would be a great jumping off point. I guess you can take the youth worker out of youth ministries, but should you still set off some alarm? This is the second group of teenagers that have been nice to me in two days. I made sure they, they were giving me a hard time, I think, for being on the uh, 
playground equipment, but then they were on the playground equipment. And so they wanted to be in the vlog, so here they are. Hey guys, they wanted to be in the vlog. Say What's hi. Up? Hello. What's up? Hey. <laughs> oh, we saw a Whitewater Retro in the wild. Look, a retro in the wild. They have a kitten. There's a kitten. And there's Jerry. You didn't wash your hair. Did you? Oh, yeah. Dry. Oh my gosh, already. Well, it's windy. It's warm. Yeah, it is. Two sites over. Kitten. There's huh? kitten. They have a kitten. That's our second campsite with a kitten in two oh. days. How was it? It's good. What'd you do? I jumped in the water and rinsed off. <gasps> Went for a dip since there's no dip. showers here. Yeah, wasn't terribly cold. That's cool. Yeah. A little, little. <laughs> <laughs> and that is Spring Canyon Campground. Check out this video here where we went to NTS City Park right before this or down here, which is a video that YouTube picked out just for you. The sun is going down. Losing everything. There's the sun going down.